Hey everyone, Kevin here. What I'd like to do in this video is talk about focus. When I'm talking about focus, I'm talking about focusing your website, whether it be a blog, a forum, any type of website, or even your YouTube channel, your podcast, anything. I'm talking about focusing on one particular niche or one particular topic. The problem that I see a lot of places uh, online, on blogs and websites, is that they diversify the topic so much that you can't find an audience. This is a mistake I made many, many times and you know, to a certain degree I still make it from time to time as well. The most successful websites tend to, I mean, forget about the ones that are, you know, like news websites that post 40, 50 times a day. General websites, the most successful ones tend to focus on just a few topics. My a YouTube channel started off as kind of travel and kind of like WordPress but I moved the WordPress site to the Rice Forums channel and it focuses more on technology now but I do try and incorporate travel but I think that kind of goes together sometimes because if you're testing a camera, you're testing microphones, you can do it whilst you're travelling. But I've seen this in the past myself with my own blog, you know where if you launch a blog or a website you have to kind of focus on one channel. I saw this so many times where people would launch blogs and they were learning about blogging and they were learning about WordPress. So what they would do is they would start writing articles about you know, blogging tips or WordPress. Now, I've did that myself. The difference being my blogging website was called Blogging Tips. My WordPress blog was called WP Mods, as in WP Modifications. Both of those blogs focused exactly on what, they were, you know, what the name was. A lot of those other blogs, so what they would do is, you know, and I can understand why they would do it, but someone would launch something like a TV blog or a travel blog or something else, but then what they would do, 90% of the post would be about WordPress or about blogging. And it makes sense because they're learning about a subject, they want to put their thoughts down. I can understand that, but it isn't good to do that. You know, if you if you try to launch a blog or a website or anything like that, you really should focus on one or two kind of topics and really you want all topics to kind of tie in together. Now my personal blog does kind of break the rules sometimes because well one it's a personal blog but I do try and focus most of my content, most of my articles towards website development, towards internet marketing. From time to time I will do a personal kind of article, something that's more to do with me personally, about my private life or about my interests, movies or whatever. But I do try and keep them to a minimum because I know that when you do that, you are alienate, alienating a lot of readers. It is, it is um, a problem. Now, with a blog, you can actually get around this a little bit. You know, with a website, you can get around this a little bit. I'll, I'll explain how. You know, if you've got a WordPress website and say, you, for example, you do a lot of technology posts and then you do a lot of, say, internet uh, web development posts and then you do something about travel, you can set up categories and you can put big headings at the start of your website, click on this one and then you can set up a unique blog index for travel, a unique blog index for uh, technology, for this, for that. And you can categorise all your, to your topics so that no one really goes to the part that they, they don't want to go to. With RSS feeds as well, RSS feeds work on a category level, they work on a tag level. So not to get too technical, but an RSS feed can power, you know, um, feed this, uh, feed readers. It can dis it can power Twitter feeds and things like that as well. It can feed your content into lots of different places. But because you can use RSS down to such a microscopic level almost, you can allow people to say, for example, subscribe to the technology area, subscribe to the travel area, and they can only get the articles that they want. But on YouTube, it doesn't really work like that. YouTube, it's actually quite frustrating. You can create playlists and you can do things like that, but you can't really um, categorize things as, in, in a, the same way that you would in a website. And it does cause problems for a lot of YouTubers. As I said, I started my channel and it was mostly about, you know, I was traveling at the time, so I talked about um, internet marketing and WordPress things, but I moved those things towards Rise Forums because I did want to focus more on technology. But even with technology, it is difficult for me to choose which topics to focus on. I've done a lot of content on microphones. Um, when I'm talking about this here, I'm not talking about Rice Phones channel, I'm talking about my Kevin Muldoon YouTube channel. I've done 
I've did videos about microphones, I've did videos about cameras, about, you know, recording things like that because I'm learning about it, it's, it's something that's on my mind. I've did things about gaming. Now, gaming is something I'm really passionate about, it's something I really enjoy, but I, I know that although technology and gaming, it kind of goes hand in hand sometimes, but I know that there's a lot of people interested in recording and cameras and microphones that aren't interested in gaming. And I know probably the majority of people who are interested in gaming aren't interested in uh, technology related things such as computers or cameras and recording things like that so it is quite hard to try and keep everyone happy and if you do too many uh, you know too much videos on one topic there is a kind of chance that you're alienating people from another subject now to illustrate this point and to illustrate the problems that can arise from this I'd like to refer to a discussion that I saw recently on YT Talk which is a YouTube discussion forum and the thread said, the, the man basically said how he created a monster. So he did, he had a vlog channel and he did uh, quite a lot of videos about a drone, right? So his video was kind of comedy and music and it was kind of a personal uh, vlog where it's about him talking every day. But what he did was he bought a drone and he did lots of videos about drones. All of a sudden his channel went from being very small to thousands of subscribers and all of, all of his uh, drone videos were getting huge amounts of views and these were the ones that were convincing people to become a subscriber. Then what he did was he uploaded one of his regular videos, you know, one of the videos that he would have uploaded before he did that, and he saw lots of people unsubscribe. This is the problem, you know, he created this channel and it was called something vlogs, whatever. I'll link to it so that you can see it yourself. And he had created this channel and it was about him it was a personal channel about him vlogging, but 99% of the people who subscribed to his channel subscribed because they thought it was about drones, they thought it was about, you know, the action cameras and things like that. As he said, he created a monster and he, he placed himself in a really difficult position because, as I said, you can't categorise things like that on YouTube. What you need to do is really focus on just a few topics and it, it's a difficult situation because what do you do? Do you just go back to posting your own videos that wasn't getting enough, a lot of attention? Do you just tell people, listen, you know, unsubscribe because I'm not doing any more drone videos? Or do you just go, right, I'm now going to do more videos about drones? And the smart move would probably be to do more videos about the drones because that's where the subscriber base was and then move his vlogs to a brand new YouTube channel. That's something you'd have to do. You can't just categorise things in the same way that you can in a blog. You've got a lot of freedom if you create a blog as far as, um, you know, you can create your own index, you can create your own categories and move things around and display it in any way you want. But YouTube doesn't work that way. You're really playing by Google's rules. And, you know, you can create playlists, but if every video that pops up in someone's feed is something to do with, you know, something they're not interested in, then they will want to subscribe. So it does make sense to create a brand new channel if those videos are completely unrelated to the videos that you normally post. So it's a difficult situation the guy found himself in. Um, and I can see arguments for both sides. You know, if you want to keep, you know, make your, that channel a success, if you want to keep keep it going, keep the momentum going, make sense to keep doing more drone videos and then do his vlogs on another channel. But then a part of me thinks, well, it's your channel. Do what you want to do. If people don't like it, unsubscribe. But I can see both sides to this, I really can. There is a YouTuber called Chris Perello and I really like him. He comes across a very likeable guy and I, I love his, post, uh, his videos and posts about technology. You know, he's got about 350,000 subscribers. He's quite, he's quite successful. Now, all of his videos were re related to computing, to technology, to gaming. Things, you know, quite similar topics to what I do in my channel. You know, it's the things that I'm interested in. But... Since he's had a child, all of his videos are about him, about his wife, about his kid, games, you know, playing with his kid and things like that. Now, he did a video about eight months ago where he said that, is this channel still about technology? And he pointed out that the channel has never been about technology per se, it's always been about him. And I agree with that, but I also think that it's kind of short-sighted in a way because... I understand it's his channel, he can post what he wants and you know, right now his new baby is 
hundred percent, you know, the focus of all his attention. But from a subscriber point of view, I never think I never thought I would unsubscribe, but I did. I unsubscribed from his channel because when I subscribed to his channel, it was technology, technology games, all these things that were interesting to me. And now it's just all videos about him and his baby. So, you know, it's completely unrelated to anything. I don't. I mean, I'm not interested in that. No offense to him. I mean. I don't want to share that information, you know, my private life to others either. And it's not this kind of uh, channel that I'm interested in. So unsubscribe. And I can see his point of view, but I think it is very, very important to understand why people subscribe to your channel, why people follow your website, why people subscribe to your blog or hang out at your forum. The way that YouTube is set up, it kind of pays to be quite narrow-minded about what you do. I mean, even with my tech channel, I still think sometimes that I vary the, the content too much. You know, I'd probably have much more success if I, you know, focused on only action cameras or only microphones and then did another channel for something else or only focused on gaming. I'm doing it all under one. I, I guess they all tied together, but if I started doing things that were completely unrelated, then I think I would lose a lot of people and I think I would find it very hard to keep that audience, you know, if I posted about travel, WordPress, making money online, and then the next video was microphones, the next video was gaming, and then it was about how you can fix your website. There will be some people that have got similar interests to that, but you really should try and focus your attention on certain people. Now, I think there's a lot to, to um, a lot of lesson to be learned with this, but I think I think it's very easy to fall into this trap because. You know, say for example, um, on my YouTube channel, again, mine's is kind of the same as Chris Perello. It's, it's a personal channel, it's called KevinDoon.com. And I like the fact that I can talk about anything. I can upload a video and I can talk about anything. But I also know that the majority of people who do subscribe are subscribing because of, well, hopefully because of me, but mostly because of the technology, because of the product reviews and, you know, tutorials and things like that. If I started going off course, if I started going off course and going on a tangent, and start talking about making money and then start talking about my family and things like that I think I've got a lot of people on subscribing but I think I'll also find it very hard to gain an audience because I'm posting about so many different things and really if someone's going to subscribe to your channel they really want to be interested in your topic and instead of being interested in one topic if you've got 20 different topics it's going to make it a little bit more of a, a difficult choice as to whether someone subscribes to you because you really want to convince people. You enjoyed that video? Well, I've got lots of other videos like that and they're going to be coming every month, so subscribe. So, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, guys. Um, my advice to you would be, if you've got a blog, I think it's the same as a YouTube channel, you really should try and focus on one or two main topics. You know, everything that you do should really tie in together. You know, perhaps the odd um, video, the odd article, can maybe stray a little bit off topic, maybe be a little bit different, but 90%, 95% of your content should really all tie into one or two key topics. If you've got an SEO blog, don't post too many travel you know, things. If you've got a travel blog, don't put, make 50% of your content about blogging. People will subscribe for a certain reason, and you really need to remember that. So please do bear that in mind. And I do think that if you're a YouTuber, you do have... It is, it, is a, um, it is more difficult because the way it works, you can't just create another category. Sometimes you need to either just think, well, I need to create another channel or I need to just keep focused on well, what the focus is. Keep it focused on what the main topic is. I think that's uh, key. Thanks for watching, guys. I'd love to hear what you think about this. I know a lot of experienced bloggers know all this already. If you've got a forum, I'm sure you've done all this um, before as well. Um, but I've seen it time and time again with discussion forums with YouTube channels with vlogs and I've made the same mistake even after you know acknowledging that this, this problem exists I've made the same mistake as, as well because it is easy to fall into the trap. Thanks for watching anyway guys please let me know what you think about this in the comment area and please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching I'm out.